Hey guys, Angus Vol here, and we are here to play some Project Hospital. Now I've been wanting to play this one for such a long time. I have been, I've been playing around offline, not obviously recording, just to kind of get used to how it works and stuff like that. And I have to say, I'm really looking forward to doing this playthrough. Obviously I've played some hospital games in the past with Two Point Hospital and there's another one, I'm sure there's another one. But this one, look at the amount of detail here. You can do operating theatres and oh, everything. Um, there's wards, there's labs, there's intensive care. You are literally running your hospital. And there's so much detail to the thing. Look at this, you can just see the individual bottles. You can't get that close, but you know what? It really does, yeah, it really... Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. So, what we are going to do, we are going to start a new game and we're going to just do a sandbox one with the biggest possible empty field, I want to say. Yeah, because if we do this, we've already got hospitals built. Wow, that looks impressive. Some of these things, are, look at that. That's fantastic. Oh, skywalks and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is cool. The, 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 the possibilities are endless. Look at these things, little tiny clinics. But no, we're going to go empty field. What I want to do is I want to kind of recreate the hospital where I work, give or take, because I quite like the layout of where I work. And it's a, it's a quite cool idea. It's kind of like a big old um circle. Circle. It's a square. I was, was going to say a circle, but no, it's a square inside. A square you've got a square walkway inside and then you've got like wards and stuff all the way outside so i'm kind of thinking that's where i'm gonna kind of go that's my logic um we're not going to do free building we're not going to unlock everything we are going to work our way through and we will have patients dying so yeah let's jump on in shall we i am really really looking forward to this this is cool like i say the amount of detail you can um you can put into this oh it's incredible look at the area this is really cool this is really cool right first things first i want to move the emergent to the this is so this is where these are where your ambulances come in although not looking that great look at it it's looking it's a hodgepodge look at the road i mean road maintenance we're, we're, we're certainly in the uk I'll, I'll put it that way that's yeah they look a lot like our roads um but yeah what we're gonna do we're gonna move this here because the plan is I'm going to have the main entrance coming up here. We'll have a couple of little side entrances over here, maybe, and another one over here. But this is going to be our main entrance area here. And then the hospital, like I say, is kind of a square. So we're going to have a main corridor going all the way around. And then we'll have stuff on the outside and then big old things in the middle. It will make sense. It will make sense. Um, right. So first things first, we're going to build. Uh, how did I do this? I did do this somehow. I can't remember. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Ambulance. Here we go. Ambulance unloading. Let's go for an ambulance unloading about there. There we go. We've moved that out of the way. I'm happy with that. Right. So now what you have to do, you have to build foundations. Whatever you do, you have to build the old foundations. Um, let's just, where's the middle? So how big is that? 81. Of course it's 81. <laughs> oh man okay so if we go from there then it's 80 okay so then 40 is the middle so it's just next to that tree there right okay okay so that was 40 there ah okay 40 40 40 so 80 oh good god i can't even do my oh good god the simplest of things elude me um let's go back to shall we let's uh, no, 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 no. I want a little bit of pathway, don't I? I like I say, I do have a plan. I do have a plan for this. I want to kind of go... We can build all the way to there. So three. So yeah, actually, yeah. Let's do the foundations. Oh man, okay. I do. Let's do like that. There we go. Sorry, tree has gone. <laughs> whoops. Big old whoops. Um. Right, okay. So, what I want to do, let's, let's get some flooring in here, shall we? Let's get the, the flooring so it looks like it's joining up, so people aren't walking over nothing. Right, cool, 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 cool. Um, next up, what we want to do, I want to... We've got a little entranceway in the hospital, which is kind of a bit like... Oh, let's get these walls down. Let's not have them up. Kind of a bit like... That-ish-ish. Ish. Let's take them down, actually. 
And then there are, look at the options, you've got so many options, glass windows, dingy windows. But yeah, it's kind of a entrance area like that that's kind of open. Why did I build that wall there? That's already annoying. There we go. There we go. They kind of walk in, so it's kind of, you're kind of a little bit sheltered. There's like, it's actually two gap there, but we'll leave it as one because we can, we can adjust later. We can adjust later. Right. We need to now build the, let's just build the foundations out, an extra one that way. There we go, right. There, I'm happy, I'm happy. We're, we're getting the entrance area. There we go. Excellent. That's a nice little entrance, and then we can put our big old door here. So do we do, yeah, let's do some sliding doors. Right there. There we go. So we have, yay, we've got an entrance. Okay, marvellous, we can stop. We, we've created an entrance. This is fantastic. <laughs> Oh, oh Christ, this is going to go drastically wrong. Um, right, so how far do we want to come along here? Right, so um, let me just let me just look at my plan. It, it it will make sense to you guys. It will make sense. I'm just trying to figure out my sizing to start with, because what I want is I want the building to like come out over here a little bit. So we're gonna have one, two, three, one, two down to here. Think, think. Wait a sec, we're going to do a room 5x5 five five there. Like I say, it will make sense. And a 5x5 five five here. Okay, is that... Sort of, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want. Right, okay. That's, that's, that's our starting kind of thing with a bit of a corridor along here and a corridor along here. Yeah, there we go. That, that's the starting setup I'm after. So let's build the walls around here like so there we go right that's the start as you can see oh, i'll put a little notepad in front of the bottom of the screen i can't actually see the bottom of the screen as you can see down let's just go to this view as you can see down here we've got all these different um departments so we've got emergency radiology labs intensive care general surgery internal medicine orthopedic orthopedics i'm just going to call it orthopedics because it just sounds weird otherwise cardiology what we've we got neurology infectious diseases traumatology administrative and pathology so each of these departments will have different requirements so for example emergency we've got a waiting room doctor's office reception cleaning closet they're the ones we require to set up this department um shared rooms like restroom common room corridor elevator they can be used by other departments as well. So like I say, if there's a toilet and someone's happened to be walking past the toilet, you're not going to begrudge them using the toilet in that department, right? That makes sense. Um, common room, yeah, if you're going to go grab a cup of tea, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You do get quite um, territorial over common rooms. Yeah, and you've got someone always coming in nicking your tea? Jeez, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be, yeah, it's not going to go well. So, so yeah, like I say, all of these things can be shared. Um, then, once you've got these done, you can open up hospitalisation. Um, so each of these departments will be the same one. Not um, radiology or labs, but intensive care. Again, well, they've, they haven't got um, clinic. They've only got hospitalisation. Um, general surgery. You've got the clinic with the shared rooms, and then you've got hospitalisation. And the shared room over here is the operating theatres. So yeah, each of these different departments have different requirements. Obviously, the, the main basic is an office, a waiting room, and reception. So, to open up, where does it say here? Open emergency clinic. Ah, okay, so we've got to do emergency. What we're going to do, I have done this slightly wrong, I think. I think I might have done this wrong. Ah, oh, I've done it wrong already. <laughs> oh, no, I'm... I might have done. I might have done. Yeah, let's um, let's just do, 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 do. right. Let's take this wall back ever so slightly. I don't quite want that there. Let's give them a little bit more room, right? Oh, that's removing wall. Let's add the wall, right? Add the wall. Yeah, let's give a little bit more room because yeah, that makes a bit more sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? What we'll do? We'll add a bit more foundation over here as well. We'll we'll go for a little bit more room. Just because, again, it's it just makes it more airy and open and whatnot. So let's remove that wall. Admittedly, yes, I am doing the most boring of walls at the moment. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. I'm I'm not that fussed about them. Boring, 
ugly. No, doesn't matter to me. Um, right, so then we will need a GP office there and there. I'm calling them GP office. They What are they actually called? Uh, doctor's office. So yeah, let's actually designate them as doctor's offices straight away. Perfect. Um, then they can have a little waiting room just outside the front there, which will, it will get bigger as we go along. It will, it would increase in size, but for the moment, that's what we're going to put it as. Um, and then we'll have a reception area. How's about, we give them a little bit of room there. So one, two, yeah, we'll move along two. So what, what does it have to be? Oh, it has to be three by three, doesn't it? Uh, that's why I went back one. I knew I went back one for a reason. You know what? We'll just do three by three. That's absolutely fine. And then cleaning closet, we can... We're going to have to have a cleaning closet, aren't we? So let's just do a cleaning closet over here. All it has to be is three by two. That's teeny tiny. Right, so let's make that an actual room. There we go. That's a room. Perfect. These guys are rooms. Waiting room and reception do not need to actually be rooms. That's fine. Let's add in... You know what? You're going to be... this. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for doors. I am looking for doors. Um, let's just do a normal little door like so and like so. Perfect. That means people can come in and one, two either side, one, two either side. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that is how I want it, I think. Pretty sure that works out nicely. I did have a little prefab. If we... Um... Can I... Where have I got... Have I got a prefab? I got a prefab. Uh, I'd made a prefab in a previous little game. I do not have it here. Six by six, six by... Yeah, so you can, like, just build it and it gives you all the stuff you need in it. But no, we're gonna we're gonna make our own little prefabs that, that work for us. I had. Did I not have one? Safe prefab? No. It's got to be in the same game, clearly. Right, anyways. We've got doors in there. We need a door in here. So we'll go for a little... Where are we? Where's restricted? Is that restricted area? Yes. There we go. Restricted area. Let's sort out the cleaning closet first. So if you go to building and you tap on the room, it takes you exactly to where you need to be. And it tells you exactly what you need to make it a valid room. So we need one shelf which creates a workspace and something or other. I didn't actually read that. <laughs> creates a workspace and stores all the all needed equipment for a janitor. There we go. And a bucket cart. Because obviously they need a bucket cart to go around and clean, don't they? Anyway, why am I moving on to stuff already? Hang you on, hang you on. Do we do... No, we're not going to do colours just yet. Let's just do some flooring. So main floor in the main entrance area is going to be white. Because... Well, that just signifies clean, doesn't it? So we might as well do all the corridors as white for the time being. We'll change it. We will change it up. Emergency. We're going to possibly go a little bit red on the colouring. So uh, what have we got? Dark coloured tall. What are these? Light lino flooring. Dark lino flooring. That's about some light lino flooring in red for the doctor's offices. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll go. We, we will go with that. Why the devil not, right? Okay, cool. Next up, uh, we want... Let's go in here and let's go for reception. Yeah, reception, right. Reception. Let's go for a counter advice. Here we go. Right there. Let's go for a counter. No, we want a corner right, left, right. Whichever one, that one and that one. Yay! Perfect. We'll grab a little PC. No. Oh, yeah, let's go for the big old PC right there. Perfect. And... Let's give them a... What's the difference between these? Ooh, 150 or 59? Well, we shall give them a fancy pants office chair, shall we? There we go. Right. So we've got a valid cleaning room and we've got a valid reception. Look at us go. Look at us go. Um, it does say you need benches. Well, you don't need benches. It's valid. So if we go to there, we've got a waiting room. Yeah, because you need nothing in a waiting room. We've got a reception and we have got a cleaning closet. Well, hey, I hear you say, well, hey. Right, let's just go to the waiting room. It does say a Q machine is handy and info machine and some benches. So yeah, let's chuck a Q machine right at the beginning there, an info TV right there so they know when to go in, and we'll chuck in some benches and we'll make them red. So how about we chuck in 
just a couple of benches there. It's really crammed because I moved it back one. So it is what it is. Like I say, it will be changing. It will be changing. That's absolutely fine. Vending machine, coffee vending machine. You know what? A couple of them wouldn't be so bad. Let's chuck in a little vending machine there, a coffee vending machine and a water dispenser right there. There we go. At least then they can get stuff and things, can't they? That's good. That's good. Right. Next up, doctor's office. Let us sort out a doctor's office. So a doctor's office needs lots of stuff. Needs an exam table. Makes sense. That's where they do their exams, right? So we'll chuck you there. What do you need? So what do I need next to it? I know I need stuff and things. Medical light. Aha. There we go. Goes above. It gives you the little blue arrow where it's supposed to go. So that's fine. Uh, do we need... What do we need? I test. Uh, let's just go for an eye test. What about there? Uh, audiometer. Uh, we need a biohazard bin, right? Oop. I could bin there. Infectant CRP scan. Oh, we need a desk. We need a desk. So let's do an office desk. How's about right there? There we go. And that will need a computer on it. Yes. You need a printer? You need a printer. Let's chuck your printer. What's the difference in price? 399 or 199 you know what? Let's make it look professional, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go. Um, they'll need a little office chair. So we'll go for a little red office chair right there. Perfect. So we've got them sorted. Ooh, whiteboard. Whiteboard will make sense in future. So let's put one in straight away. Um, whiteboard is for something called differential diagnosis. It will make sense. Let's chuck you in the corner there. It will make sense soon. Soon, I tell you, soon. Um, right, okay, so that's cool. We need a kind of chair for the people to come in, don't we? People to come in and sit. Fancy chair. About one of them. Yeah. Yeah, we'll chuck a chair in there. They can't really see them. You know what? Can I... Uh, can I... How do I... How do I rotate? Here we go. Can we grab you? Can you fit there? Oh, that looks weird, doesn't it? How's about we chuck you there? <laughs> this is right behind the printer. Uh, is what it is. Is what it is. Right. Okay, cool. So we've got that, that, that. So we need some equipment stuff. Okay, so let's put equipment table. Uh, we need one there. Okay, so they can't now get to that. Why can't they get to that? Okay. Uh, this, is the, this is the tedious bit. It gets quite confusing. Because you've got to then place stuff so they can then access it. Okay. How do they... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, right. So let's put a CRP scan on there. Yeah. And then an equi another equipment table there with an audiometer. There we go. Disinfectant. Can you go above the bin? Yes, you can. Perfect. We need equipment table and sink. Oh, wow. Okay, this room is getting very busy very quick. Ha. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's rotate you like that. Rotate you like that. Can we rotate you maybe like that? Hang you on, hang you on. Let's rotate you. Uh, rotate you there. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. It's fine. We'll rotate you back like that. There we go. And then how's about we put you there? That makes a bit more sense. Yes, 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 yes. And then this bad boy can go over there. Uh, how can you not go over there? Whiteboard won't be accessible. Okay, we'll go there then. Jeez. Um, okay, okay. So this is looking rather busy in here. Mobile equipment cabinet. Oh, okay, hang you on, hang you on, hang you on. Can we put one of them? Can we put a red one in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we put you then? No, that's the Q thing. I want, how do you do this? Control, there we go. No, you can't go on there. Okay, so you be gone. You, uh, how do I sell you? How do I sell you? Uh, delete. No, not bulldoze. Delete. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Equipment cabinet tall. Aha, yes. 
that makes sense chuck you in there i think we have a battered room guys i think we have a battered room that is quite cool um maybe a little sink possibly a sink is always um a good thing to see in a doctor's office right um how's about we move the where are we move the eye test to there there we go and then can we think where the sink go uh there okay that's not too bad that's not exactly uh it's not great but you know what it's not not dreadful i've i've made worse rooms in things haven't i yeah look at the um look at the detail in here you got you know, the, you got all the drugs in there and the treatments and stuff and yeah little crp scanner there crp the reactive protein um yeah see there you go see reactive protein it's an inflammatory marker in your blood um that's again we do that in the lab they they don't usually do that in their offices but hey ho I don't, i'm not quite sure whether there's a point of care crp test there is one down in one of our emergency room things but that's the only one that's got it in the hospital they don't do it routinely but hey ho who are we to argue um but yeah so we've got one of them um you know what we're gonna grab a second one so what we're gonna do copy we're gonna copy you yoink and place you right there um yes so can i save prefab oh look i had got it okay so uh let's go general doctor doctored general doctor yes yeah, so at least i know the difference right there we go right so now can i okay that didn't work there we go right okay chuck you in there perfect right we had a hundred thousand but we're now down to 73 that's fine that's fine but yeah if we now go to there look we've got two doctor's office waiting room we are we are basically good to open um i am gonna put a restroom in just because we kind of need one right um do i do you know what i'm just gonna do mm, mm, yeah let's just do a single little one like that that's fine for the moment because we're not going to have many people in i don't think what am i trying to do walls <laughs> yeah let's actually put some walls to the toilet shall we um let's just do some white tiles i think that would be rather okay um and then we'll just put in a white door like so toilet we need a toilet makes sense we need a rubbish bin yep and a sink Let's chuck the sink there with a hand dryer uh, right there yeah that's bare minimum bare minimum look at that yes yes we have the start of a hospital um we do need to hire some staff though so in here we go what we've got we've got janitor so when you hire staff you have got um their skills here we've got some traits where we have hidden traits or perks as they like to call them i call them traits because not all of them are perks mm. um they've got a salary they've got skills and um yeah then yeah the, yeah what we've got here fast early bird oh look at your efficiency and dexterity you do have a hidden perk so we can reveal that or we can re-roll so you know what let's just reveal them what have we got fast learner you know what um jennifer king female 54 years old jesus christ we're starting with some elderly folk here okay no, no nothing but but 54 you get some like 70 year olds in this game it's not good it's not good when you put in like 70 year olds on night shifts that's never going to be good right but no jennifer king welcome first employee a little cleaner perfect let's get ourselves a receptionist um so yeah we've got receptionist skill 36 8 14 15, ugh. Okay, fresh parent. Rest levels decrease faster. Oh, I didn't put a um. Oh, I haven't put a tea room in. We do need to do that. Uh, resistance. Okay, so rest levels decrease slower. Rest levels decrease faster. So Karen Taylor, you're kind of cancelling yourself out, and doesn't take free time breaks, which actually is not a good thing. That is actually a bad thing because um. Yeah, they don't take free breaks. Uh, so they get tired. Um, but you know what? Let's. Yeah, let's get you in. Nurse specialist, receptionist. Yeah, done. 
Oh, we'll just get one one doctor in here at the moment. Oh wow, look at you, Charles White. General medicine zero. Diagnosis zero. Zero zero. You, Karen Allen. Look, seventy three. What are you? You're a gamer. <laughs> You're gonna come on board straight away. Early bird, efficiently during the day. Yeah, gamer. You know what? I was gonna do the he reveal hidden things, but no, Karen Allen. You're on board. And look, we now accept patients. Yes. Hey, <laughs> first insurance companies are automatically contracted. Okay. Let's come out of here quickly. All right, we'll leave that. Um, if you come down here, look, we've got insurance companies. What's that? Departments, ambulance, budget, statistics. Oh yeah, we can build buy ambulances. But yeah, insurance companies. There are we're obviously in America here. So we are going to use insurance companies to make our money. Um, so we did the first one there, which was open an emergency thing. Next one, one patient per day emergency. I think we can manage that and we get 20 grand. Nice. If we treat three patients, we get the uninsured unlocked. There is one down the bottom here, which is, where is it? Here we go. Oopsie Corporation. Create one doctor with character editor. Yes, we are going to do that. We are going to create ourselves. So, where is it? It's here, I think, isn't it? Doctor mode? No. Uh, how do I do this? No, not there. Not there, not there, not there. Um, how do I how do I create myself a doctor? Ah, uh, here, isn't it? No. Where do I go? Where do I go? I've, I've done this. I've done this. Old doctor, no, because I could take Karen Allen over, but I don't want to. Um, where do I do this? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Bookmark patients, no. Building mode, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Open table patient table. Dress code. <gasps> Ooh, doctor. Oh. oh, this is good. I quite like that. Yeah, yeah. surgery scrubs. Yeah, makes sense. Janitors orange. Technologist, uh, yeah, not a nice color. Technologists, um, you know what? You're gonna be. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave them as is at the moment. Oh wow, where do I create my doctor again? Got to be here, right? Here, normal mode. No. Oh, where do I create the doctor? Bear with me. Let me find it. I was so close earlier, so close. It was right here. Create character editor. So yes, let's create one. <laughs> so yeah, let's go for age of, oh, well, you know what? We might as well go 20, just to give ourselves loads of years, right? Um, Hair, let's get ourselves, I'm quite liking that hair. The green eyes, yeah, nose, not really that fussed. Let's go with a bit of uh, uh, that. Yeah, 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 lips. Gotta go smiley lips, right? Gotta go smiley lips. Yeah, why not that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beards? Well, I'm 20. There shouldn't be any wrinkles. I, I'm very much not... I'm, I'm, I'm very much lowering my age here. Very much. Um, but yeah, let's get some glasses on board. Um, quite liking those ones. Hair. Bright blue. Oh yes, oh yes. Let's get a little bit of colour because we look a bit anemic there. Um, how's about oh Christ? Okay, that's very light. How about there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, not Jennifer Young. It's going to be Angeles. Yes, and oh, of course. Right now we can select our perks to our new hospital. Uh, we're going to be an intern. It is what it is. But we can select perks and. So these are the good ones and these are the bad ones. So we select two good and one bad. So what have we got? We've got comforting. We've got diagnostic genius. Ah, practical diagnosis. What does diagnostic? Extra talent for diagnosis. 20% bonus experience to diagnosis after, after successful. Okay. Oh, I quite like that. That's good. A good boss. Okay. Yeah. People person, okay, reveals hidden perks after interacting with them. That could be handy. Pleasant, gives nice stuff. Clean feet. Um, loyal, okay, less salary, fair. Res resistance, um, fast. 
Night Owl. Ah, yes, that, that is me. Works more efficiently during the night. Uh, early bird. Yeah, yeah. Anyone who's seen me at work, when I get there at eight in the morning, they know not to talk to me till at least nine, maybe even half nine. Um, usually 10 o'clock after I've had my tea break, then that usually kind of works, but oh man, no, not good. Mornings, ugh, you get maybe a grunt out of me. Um, fast learner, fair. Barton, all needs are reduced much slower. Gamer, oh, quite tempted, quite tempted. Or scholar. Okay, I'm liking the practical diagnosis. That one, comforting. No, definitely not. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking people person. Comforting and pe uh, what is it? Practical diagnosis and people person. I quite like that, the idea of that. What do we have? Unpleasant, eh, dirty feet, hard worker, germaphobe, <laughs> washes hands three times to be sure, uh, depressed, hedonist, spends twice as much time enjoying food. Um, that seems quite likely to be maybe the one I might choose. <laughs> I do like my food. I can't help it. Um, fresh parent. Um, alcoholic. Yep. Nope. Uh, long commute. Um, slow. Fast metabolism. Hunger increases much faster. Yeah. Used to be. Well, when I was twenty, yeah, we'd say fast metabolism, but yeah, not so much anymore. Um, slow learner. So it's either hedonist or fast metabolism. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go for hedonist. And yeah, we'll create for 10,000, please. Hey! So now we can contract the Oopsie Corporation. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And they will have some objectives as well. Reach control doctor rating 80%. Hey! Sweet. And then what we do, this is because it's the doctor mode DLC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control Anglesfall. So any patients that come in, Anglesfall we'll see them, and then we'll get told to have a look at them. But yeah, I think we are ready to unpause the game, guys. <gasps> it's only taken us quite a while. Um, it is what it is. Right, we, we, we are going to get patients in. Hello, patients. Come on in, patients. Where are you? Flock to us. We are but a tiny clinic, but we are ready. Oi, where are you? Oi, oi, Jennifer King. What? You go, are you just leaving? I'm guessing there's nothing for her to clean, which is fair. Oh, we need the staff room, don't we? Staff room. Um, you know what? We're going to do a quick staff room off the side here. Let's just quickly get that done, shall we? Because um, that would just be rude not having a staff room. Um, we're just going to do a teeny tiny four by four, planning only, not on foundations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to build foundations. I forget about this. Foundations, yoink. Um, let's grab some walls. Uh, we're just going to go for the white walls to start with. Once we get a bit more into it, we'll start color coding, coordinating, making it look pretty, right? Um, do we go for, you know what? No, I don't, that looks wardy. Um, oh no, because then people can just look in. That looks wardy. Yeah, we're just going to go for a basic door. There we go. Right. And then in here, oh, we need some flooring. We need some flooring. We will put flooring in here. You know what? You can have some laminate flooring. Because that's quite nice. Um, then we'll go for whatever we need in here. So we need sofa. Let's chuck a sofa down here. Uh, coffee machine. Oh, that needs to go on something. So let's go for a dining table like that. Oh, coffee machine. Or oh, yeah, let's go for the big coffee machine. Of course. Uh, go for a bit of a rotation there. Uh, oh, meal counter. Oh my good god, this room needs to be a lot bigger than I've made it, clearly. Um, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to put a little table there. And then uh, I think it's control. Yeah, there we go. Move you over to there. So food, drink. Um, we'll chuck in a little chair. You know what? You can have a back chair right there. Yeah, a couple of chairs. There we go. Um, they don't particularly need these, <coughs> but you know what, what we're going to do, there we go, so they've got some food, drink, yeah, that's a good start, maybe, maybe a sink, we squeeze a sink in there, yes we can, that's a, that's a good start, it's a good start, right, let's unpause, right, let's, uh, yeah, oh, can we, have we, did we not contract them? Oh, here we go. We can contract them. There we go. Excellent. I thought I had. 
That's fine. Treat one patient, we get that done. Treat three patients, we get this done. Excellent, right. But, oh, I thought anglers were going to go have some food there. But no, let's speed time along. Woo, 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 woo. Who are you? Mary Thomas, going to waiting room. Five hidden symptoms. Okay, cool. Please come to anglers. Are you going to anglers? Uh, are you, are you, are you? You're up? I uh, no, you're going to whoever it is. Ooh, one thing we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chief Doctor. Let's add Karen Allen, because I think... Why can I not see Karen Allen? There we go. Karen Allen had... Did she not have good boss? Uh, no, she had gamer. That's fine. You know what? She's got all the experience. Angles Foll is not ready for this. <laughs> no way and no how. Are we still in control? Yeah, we've still got control of Angles. Fine, that's fine. Ooh... So yeah, so look, you can actually see, look, they do physical examination. Hello, hello. Let's have a quick look. What are you doing? Have a chat. Oh, wow. They're zooming past. Zooming straight in. Hmm. Okay, more examination. Oh, you know what we do need? We do need... Um, where are we? Let's go for a window with blinds. Right there. That'll make my day brighter. Sorry, what is your name? Karen Allen. Who's examining? Oh, Mary Thomas. I thought it was Mary Mary Allen, but yeah, no, no, no. She she, she doesn't get a window. I apologise, but yeah, yeah. What happens is patients should come in here, come to reception, and they do a bit of triage. So they'll already start off some triage and then get a bit of the hidden symptoms and stuff, and then it just makes our job easier. But not all patients will go to reception. But yeah, so John Lopez procedures have finished interview. Go to. Let's have a quick look. So this is the point where we're in control of our doctor. So they've got itching. I itching? Itching? But they've also got another hidden symptom. And that could be a bucket load of stuff. So, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a physical examination. Okay. And then they get on with it. So she gets up. She'll go round. She'll do the physical examination. Hey. 20 grand. Perfect. Ooh. The other thing we do need to put in. We need to put in a pharmacy rather sharpish actually so yeah let's pause let's pause let's pause because pharmacy is going to bring us in a bucket load of money an absolute bucket load of money which will be rather handy so ah, let me remember what my plans were so foundation 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 right so we've got our corridor of three here so here, one, two, three, four, five. That's another doctor's room. One, two, three, four, five. Another doctor's room. Another five. That'll be the end of the doctor's room. We'll leave a couple. So yeah, if we can stay there, that'll be that long main corridor. I have plans for said long main corridor. Don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. So we'd left two there, and then we're going to do a corridor that kind of comes round here. So we'll just do it like that so it doesn't look quite so rubbish. Um, and then along here, and this is going to be, you know what? We're actually, no, 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 we're going to keep it at three. I was going to say we'll do it at four, but no, we'll keep it at three at the moment. So yeah, so that's our main corridor entrance here. And then we're going to have our corridor coming round like something a bit like that within reason. Not quite sure where or exactly how far, but that will be the main internal corridor. And at the front here, yes, so this is going to be all these doctor's rooms. This is going to be our main A&E, emergency room, whatever, however you want to call it. That's what that's going to be, because they're going to bring in the patients there, zoop, into there. And yeah, so then what I want up here is pharmacy off here. In in the hospital I work at, I pharmacy... Is it here or here? I can't quite remember. I think it's here, like where the patients go in, but it's actually all of this area. I think, again, I never quite wanted in there. But let's get ourselves the walls sorted for in here. So, um, you know what? Let's just do single walls. Yoink. I've done a bit too much because I really don't need all this area at the moment, but it's fine. It's fine. We will need it in the future. So we're just planning in advance. Oh, I missed a little bit of wall right there. There we go. That's fine. What we can do, we can now remove that wall. We are we are burning into our money a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. As long as we can get doctors and pharmacy, people can come in, 
be diagnosed by us and leave with a treatment. <laughs> that is the plan. Um, so if we go to here, let's go to there and there. There we go. Right, so they need, they've need they got pharmacy. So this is administrative department. So you've got pharmacy, gift shop, service office, cafeteria, study room, cleaning closet. So yeah, the service office is going to be very important for us. Uh, no, the cafeteria is going to be very important for us. Yes. Employees, caf caf caffeine. Yes, <laughs> caffeine. Canteen even. But no, first up, pharmacy. Let's get ourselves a teeny tiny little pharmacy in here because that's going to be rather important. It will give us a bucket load and i mean a bucket load of money it really is one of those things you put in straight away if you can because it really does really does help out can you fit there yes perfect um let's just chuck in some white flooring like i say we will we will pretty stuff up in the future that is not a problem um yeah so pharmacy what do we need we need counter advice and uh, let's turn you around there we go counter left you know what we're just going to go counter right for the time being we will make it bigger as the the need for pharmacy stuff grows we will make you green straight away because that's my kind of idea right three drug shelves with drawers these are what we need to give the drugs to the people so yeah that's bare basic bare basic not much in it it's fine it will do it will do um so yeah let's hire a pharmacist 10 32 40 41 what are you rest distance and long commute a long commute that's a long commute how's about barbara garcia let's have a look a hedonist unpleasant paul king you're a fast learner but your pharmacy is useless right let's let's re-roll pharmacy 36 you are fast. You know what, Margaret Lewis? You are coming in. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, we have a pharmacy. <laughs> right, anyways, physical examination. Carry on, Anglers. Here we go. A poke and a prod. Prod and prod. Wow, you really do take some time. What do you what skills do you have? Zero and zero. This is great. Oof, right, go to. Um, we have discovered nothing. Okay. What can we do? Um, so let's have a look. Itching. Temperature measurement. That makes sense, right? Let's measure temperature. There we go. Just point that at him. That told us nothing. Okay. Um, skin allergy test. Makes sense. Because you got itching. Um, oh, good God. The pokey, 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 pokey. We're taking... Oh, good good job. Um, what's her name is here. She's going a lot quicker than us. <laughs> We're taking our time, okay? We're taking our time. A hey, procedure's finished. Still nothing. Oh my good god. Um. Oh Christ alive. Um. Okay. Got so much wrong with him. Why do we have? Why do we? God. Okay. This is this is the uh, thorax percussion uh, uh, evaluation. What does that do? Uh, any office. Considering all the symptoms carried out... Yeah, you know what, let's try that. Uh, anything? Anything? Ooh, nothing. 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 Oh, man. Okay, this is not good. Um, blood pressure measurement. Go for it. We're doing everything on him. She's, she's literally whizzing through the patients. Oh, my good God. Okay. Pause for the briefest of seconds. Look at this. We've got such a queue here. We definitely need, we definitely need a third one. Just because Angles is taking so long. So yeah, where's the door? There. Um, where's the door? Christ, I can't quite see. Right. Um, nope. There, like that. So if we go like that, that's the door right there. But yeah, that kind of works. Do need to um remove that window because we're going to have another office there. So Soon. yeah let's get rid of the window we'll put another window this side that's absolutely fine but yeah uh, we do need to oh christ let's build some foundations let's make this a bit bigger there we go we're, we're we are spending money we are spending money it's worth it though because patients need the room right 
Patients just need a bit of space because this is just... They're in the tiniest, ugliest of corridors. I didn't plan that great. But yeah, there we go. That's better. And now we can... Uh, where are we? In the waiting room. Actually in here. Waiting room. Make that just that bit bigger. Like that. Oh, crap. Like that. There we go. Make it one waiting room. Perfect. That's better. So in here, if we... Oh, Move them because people are sat on them. Of course, that is one of the annoying things in this game. When people are sat on stuff, you cannot move stuff. <laughs> Sigh. But yeah, let's hire someone else. Uh, right, general medicine. Wow, you're at zero and zero. Zero, zero, ten, three. Ooh, Rachel Martin is. You. Clean feet. Resistance. You. You are fantastic, William Walker. Oh, wow. William Walker. You know what? William Walker's coming in. How old is William Walker? 66. Okay. That should help us get through some patients. Seems as we're taking forever on this one patient. <laughs> yeah, these guys... Yeah. Oh, Christ, I didn't see what... what, what nothing had to... Uh, let's do with that. None of that. There we go. See whether we can actually get anything... Oh, I might just refer them to someone else, because quite frankly, I've got no clue. <laughs> I've got literally no clue. Oh, look at the queues. Look at the queues. We're expecting 20 patients a day. We've treated two. <laughs> well, I've treated zero. Um, uninsured. Yes, so we can... Oh, look at this. Look at this. We've got the uninsured who can come in. Oh, yes. Open radiology clinic. Wow. Wow. We'll, we'll get them open. So, yeah, look at that. We're expecting 30 patients a day. This is crazy already. But, yeah, look at that. We're, we're already, yeah, we're already heaving. Heaving, I want to say. We've literally got three doctor's rooms and a teeny tiny pharmacy. We will get radiology in. That will be our next um, mission. But, yeah, you know what? I just want to... Nothing. You know what? Let's go, okay... You are going to go to Karen Allen. Or you. Yeah, go to you. Sod it. Because quite frankly, I'm useless. I want to get one person that I can actually diagnose today. I want to actually diagnose one person. There we go. Go to. Here we go. Fever, sore throat, headache. Physical examination. I wanted to show you how to actually d d d diagnose someone. That would be fantastic, right? But yeah, no, apparently not, because I get the most complicated of people around. Um, okay, so that, nothing. Okay. Um, temperature measurement, fever, sore throat, headache. There we go. What's happening with... What's his name? He he is still waiting, isn't he? That's fine. He's still there. So are you going to go in? Um, still nothing. Okay, CRP. Let's have a quick check. I need to check her throat. I need to check the throat. That would be handy. Okay, we've only got one toilet, which is not helpful. We do need to make more, because I didn't realise quite how many people we'd get. That didn't do anything. Oral cavity inspection. Have a look down her throat. We will get one patient looked at today. We will. Dr. Foll will get someone. We will, we will, we will. Hey, reach control, doctor's rating 80%. I might not have done anything, but it got the rating. <laughs> Great. Have you managed anything yet? Still not. Really? <laughs> neck palpation. Let's try this. Feel her neck. I do love the fact that it looks like she's got nothing. <laughs> she's got like little pads on her hands. Look at that. They're gloves. I'm sure they're gloves, but it does just look like... You know when like you got the um, chicken box, but you can't scratch yourself? That's what it kind of looks like. Right, painful lymph nodes. So it could be viral tonsillitis, bacterial tonsillitis, or tularemia. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, I think... Uh, let's do a... Uh, nasal cavity. Let's try that. Just to see whether it can help us, maybe. Look at that. It looks like she's got the little mittens on. <laughs> it's not going to tell us anything, is it? So I have no idea what she's got. Yep, yeah, nope. Uh, I've got no idea. Let's go for a bit of that. She's got tonsillitis of some description, but I can't diagnose it. 
Oh, good God. Thorax percussion. That's not going to do anything. Tap, tap, tap on her um chest. It's not going to do anything. Anything. You know what? Go to William. <laughs> I can't even get one patient I can diagnose today. That's ridiculous. Come on. Right. This patient, we are going to, we are going to get you. We are going to get you. Um, okay. Go to. Weakness, fatigue, sleeping problems. Look, I'm liking this more. I'm liking this more. Let's do a physical examination. Come on. Come on. Chronic fatigue. Ooh, 30k. Perfect. Excellent. We might even get the 15 patients treated today. That's good. That's good. Hey, look, we can diagnose someone. Yes. <laughs> and then what you need is sleeping drugs, rest, and some recommendations. Do that. There we go. And then what we can do, once we've given those, drugs are being given, we'll give the rest and recommendation. I want to say. Yep, there we go. Send patient home. Perfect. So did that give us... Am I not even in intern mode? Am I not even in... I'm in normal mode. Uh, no hints? Oh, that goes to intern mode. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. You know what we'll do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My patience. Yeah, so at least we're on intern mode now. But yeah, that was the start of it. So yeah, we managed to get our first patient diagnosed, treated. Who was he? He was him, wasn't he? Chronic fatigue syndrome. Richard Clark. Yes. Go to pharmacy. Go sort yourself out. Go get those sleeping drugs and then go home and sleep. Um, Yes. Oh, this is the start. But look, we've got a little teeny tiny pharmacy with... um, Who's in there? Margaret Lewis's idol at the moment, but there she'll be getting next customer. Customer. Oh yeah, they are customers as such. But yeah, we're busy down here already. This is fantastic. Look at that. So many patients. 30 patients a day. But yeah, that's that is the start to our project hospital hospital. It looks ridiculous. It looks stupid for the moment. It will make more sense the the more we move along. Um, because we'll expand and we'll fill in the gaps and this, that, the other. It will make sense. Honest, it will make sense. It really, really will. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it here for today. That is the start to a hospital. And look, it's raining. It is as if we are in England. It really is as if we are here. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hold it here. Tap those likes down below, guys, if you are enjoying it and if you want to see more to this series because i'm really looking forward to building a hospital it's going to be awesome it really is trust me it will be awesome or it'll be a complete failure one of the two um but yeah tap those likes um and if you haven't already consider subscribing to the channel the support would be greatly greatly welcomed and then you won't miss out on the next episode coming out um but yes i shall hold it here and i will catch you on the next episode Toodles, folks.